In this video, I want to show you how you can back up your character animator projects. Once you finish your animation project, you want to make sure that you store it properly. Honestly, this is very easy to do in character animator. All that you have to do, once you have finished your project, you go to file, and then you're gonna save your project as. You're going to select the location. So for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to save it here in my desktop, but you might want to save it in an external hard drive or somewhere secure. What I like to do is I like to create a folder with the name of the project. So in this case, I'm just going to save it as demo. And inside this folder, I'm going to create another folder, which is going to be named character animator. So that I know that it contains character animator files. I'm going to press save. So what it is going to do is it's going to gather the files necessary to open the project correctly. So let me show you the folder. It is right here. And as you can see, it contains another folder with uh, the name of the project. And here you can see that I have the character animator file. So if I double click this, it is going to open uh, the project but it also contains these very important folders which contain all the files necessary for the project so as you can see it contains psds from my puppets it contains an, an audio file which is very important and if you pay attention and you see the size of the folder you're going to notice that it is kind of a big uh, folder it contains 94.1 megabytes. So these 94.1 megabytes contain all the information from the project. So in my case, I can just throw this folder inside an external hard drive, or maybe I could just send this to uh, WeTransfer. But this is a very cool feature because you can back up your work. And next time, if you have another computer or perhaps you have a newer version of Character Animator, you make yourself sure that you have all the necessary files to open this project. This is very useful too, because perhaps you wanna tweak some things. If some changes are required, maybe you can recall some settings that you liked. At the end of the day, this is your work and I prefer to have it saved. So if you think this video was useful, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you next time.